Anasuya, your enabling business you're enabling women that are currently economically inactive yeah. onto this digital platform that you provide for them so i don't think it could be more business what happens with you um i actually nowadays i'm not so much uh, focusing my you know business on linkedin okay yeah, because I'm doing advertising mostly on different platform. We, there are so many other social media platform. And uh, nowadays LinkedIn is for me, like mostly for top man person, <laughs> top person. Uh, also sometimes, you know, I feel like to you know, motivate women who really like to come out uh, to find out the ideas. Mm -hmm. So I have been seeing many women, they are contacting me in regards to that and mostly on because of the social me too and even the man the way they were approaching before it they have stopped doing it really <laughs> it's a good thing yeah i can't it's believe good thing. this yeah that's okay. what actually i wanted to uh, talk about it as it's a very good testimony from my side mm. you know it's like you know they have stopped doing it before, because uh, because of the business, they come way in a different way, and they approach me in different way, mm. and they try to, you know, I don't, I'm I got tired of talking about you know all these things, but still, what to do? Mm. This uh, these are some situations, you know, mostly. But I'm very unfortunately, I'm saying mostly the it is very in this platform I am talking about, but I'm I am saying. 80% of the Indian, mainstream Indian people, Indian men, they are really, seriously, I'm telling you, I'm an Indian, I know, but mostly they are the one, I mean, they, girls are victimized and I have been getting the information mostly from uh, my state and also uh, today you were talking about in the post about Malaysia and all, you know, those Bhutan and Nepal, those girls, you know, I used to post all this thing, those one girl, she suddenly come, okay, uh, is it, can, can I post all these things in my, I said, yeah, well, you can do it. Mm. Uh, one Nepali girl, okay, they are, she's from Nepal. So Nepal is like, yeah. they are quite familiar with uh, Nortis people of India. So because I am from Nortis. Right. So she asked me, like, uh, how are, is it, is it really working good? I said, yes, you come sometimes and maybe if you are available, you can tell me then I can connect you to those people. So see uh, those, I mean, they, they have also so many stories, but they are afraid of talking about it to come out and talk in the platform. And LinkedIn is a very professional network, very, very hardly you can see some people there uh, behaving like that, but mostly it has become regular now. So many people are facing it because uh, the social media, I mean, networking is little become vulnerable for women. They are like, you know, it's they have... Uh, what you can say it's like they they took it as granted or something i don't know they just simply they said give me a whatsapp number i i'm sharing you with with a good flower or like you know all this kind of things so i think uh, this one yeah yeah Mila, she did not join it today right doctor that says ambassador uh, no no she's she's got a fever Okay, she has a lot of stories. She, mm, she's I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So it has, it was a very, I um, mean, bad situations, you know. But still, we have to work out. I think we have to keep positive going on. Then if you stand together, we'll talk it about, definitely one day it will get stopped. I believe in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so pleased that you've had the experience you have. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk about mm -hmm. other platforms in a moment. Gregory, do you just want to dive in on what you've heard so far? So, yeah, I mean, two, two very contrasting, you know, stories, right? <laughs> you've got one where they're trying to turn social media platforms, including LinkedIn, into like a prostitution ring where you're actually asking yeah. <laughs> money for sex. It's crazy, right? I mean, that just blows my mind. Um, but I, I'm very pleased to hear that, you know, having this, you know, social me to movement and tag and, and conversation is actually helping to at least change the outward behavior of, you know, certain men so that, I and mean, that's our goal, you know, when, like you said, we're not going to change probably how people really think or act, but if we can keep them from 
doing those behaviors, at least here and maybe across social media platforms um, and, and improve that situation, I think that's a win. I'm excited about that. So, yeah, Gregory, this thing yeah. about being asked for sex is, like you said, it blows my mind. Mm -hmm. But I've been reading some of the last couple of books I've read. In fact, actually, oh, <clears throat> ladies watching or women watching, <laughs> I would recommend this book, The Mother of Invention, because basically it explains how the patriarchy and male ego hold back innovation to a horrific degree. Basically, um, after Mercedes Benz built the first car, it was his wife that actually test drove it without his permission, and figured out all these kinks that then solved um, problems he would have had, went on to make the car successful. There was a healthy market in electric vehicles at the turn of the century. Not this century, sorry, last century. But electric vehicles being quiet and being, uh, you know, just smoothly gliding around. They were for the ladies. In fact, they made these cars with vase holders. And, you know, it was like a, a, a living room. Hmm. And the men, because basically they had to crank the car with a thing, with a turn to start the engine. And... Um, the guy who invented the electric vehicles that, that were for the women, his friend had broken his jaw because he was flying the crankshaft around. It hit up and tore his bottom jaw off. And it says in this book that you go, listen, if we had not gone for this whole macho, oh, ah, big machine, oh, that we would be a hundred years further advanced in electric vehicles. In fact, mm -hmm. it's probably fair to say that we wouldn't be facing the problems we face in the world on many fronts. Mm -hmm. So, Olivia, how do you tell if it's the same person? Okay, from my side, Jonathan, usually I can pick up on the way they walk or type, for example, um, because it's sort of people are stuck in a habit already of the way they type mm -hmm. or the way they speak, for example. So you will know, you'll pick it up if it's someone that's on, for example, WhatsApp or Instagram or Facebook, and you can actually pick up it's the same person because of the way they type or if they're even using a different profile. Uh, so you already know. So I can pick it up in that way. So they type the same, like maybe use the same phrasing or they bring up the same kind of topics, for example, or the conversation will sort of flow in the same way because they're so used to doing what they do that it's already a habit so right. to speak. So they don't have to think about it, it automatically just happens. So in that way, you can actually pick it up. So basically, it, it's a numbers game. Correct. I was thinking about this as well um, through, throughout this conversation a little bit, is that yes, and I've said this before, it just seems a numbers game. I think a lot of men think they just, you know, 100 no's is going to equal one yes somewhere along. 